Hey, what's up, y'all? Before the video starts, I just want to give a quick intro. So on Haven, a lot of the stuff that I do is pretty basic. But I still wanted to make a video for a lot of the new people that are coming to play Viper with the new buffs. And if you have any questions, I actually made a new Discord, which I'll link down below. Because my old one has like 80 members, but they're all dead. And if you want to watch any other maps, I have an Ascent Guide and a Bind Guide out, which I'll put a link to the playlist of the guides down below. And then I have a split and icebox guide coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to watch me live on Twitch, the link will be in the description. And other than that, enjoy the video. Alright, so my default on attack, if we have another smoker, is to do the wall like this, where you put it right on top of the middle box on site. And it looks like this, where it covers logs and a good amount of the CT area. And that way you can time putting this wall down with your other smoker smoking CT in garage. The only problem with this wall is that it gives the defenders a decent amount of map control on C. So you want to communicate with your team when you're putting down the wall so you can fight the people in logs in this area right when the wall goes down. And if the enemy team is swinging out of garage a lot, then I'll do this one-way smoke where you stand in this corner and you have to do it before the bi phase. But there's these two squares right here and you kind of aim in this general area of the bottom of the second one. So not really in the middle, not on the left. Just kind of a quarter of the way, like so. And that'll be a one way for garage if anyone decides to push out. And this is their vision, being out of it. Or if they're not swinging from garage a lot, then I do that same wall. Then I go over on A and do the smoke that ciphers do a lot on the A lobby cross, just so that they don't have any info of how many people are going to A short. I usually don't go for post plant mollies that much because the one ways you can do post plant are just so incredibly good and makes site so easy to hold on post plant. I'll show you two different ways to do a one way for CT. So the first one you stand in this corner and long and this leaf right here, you just aim right below it like so. And it'll be a one way for CT like this. And this is their vision coming in. And another place you can throw it is from on site. You stand in this corner. So then you go in this top left corner right here and then just go a tad bit down. Kind of around this area where the wood meets it. And that's another way to do the same one way. But if you have to go for mollies for whatever reason, the two different spots that I have lineups for, one is for long right here, the other is for default. You just place the smoke right in the bomb like so. And the lineups are in cubby. And there's a lot of different lineups you can do for this spot, but I just like to stay in Cubby so that way you don't have to be on the whole of the other side of the map just to do my lineups. And so that way you can kind of keep peek out, get a pick if you need, and you don't have to bait your whole team being on the whole other side of the map just to do my lineups. So you aim in this corner and aim on the far right of the wood, like so. Now I'll just bounce off and quickly molly off long plant. And I love all the lineups for Haven because all of them drop super quickly. And that way you don't have to worry about dropping your mollies too late. So then if you plant default plant right next to the box here, you can go right in, right in front of this fence. In this tree where it's on the wires, you just aim on the bottom left of it. Like so. And that'll bounce off and land on default here. And for B, I would only recommend going B if you have your ult. But if you do have your ult, it's a really good site to go to. Because you can do it on a save round by a judge. And it's just really easy to hold post plant with your ult on B. So this is the setup that I like to do for going A and I'm the only smoker. Even though this is probably Viper's hardest map to solo smoke on because there's three sites. But I use my wall for a CT. Like so. Just make sure it doesn't cover this corner. And then stand right below this wood structure. And then aim right in the middle of this corner of the building. And the smoke will land on heaven. The wall will cover CT. If you have another smoker to smoke CT in heaven for you, you can go in this corner and then align the hood on this part of the wood right in the middle, like so. And that'll create a one way for CT that you can play from a lot of different spots. And this is their view coming into the smoke. You have to swing out all the way over here just to see you. Something I like to do to be aggro on attack on Haven 
is after the buy phase ends you can put your smoke right here and it's best if you have a teammate that goes to the right side to distract them but then what i like to do is i like to as i'm picking up the smoke jump onto the, the bottom of the stairs like so and if they're peeking out mid they're gonna have to look at two people one on the bottom of the stairs over here and one on the left so it's just really hard to fight that if they decide to peek mid I don't usually go for mollies on A because the CT one way is just so strong. But if I do, it's usually because I was lurking on this side of the map. Maybe I was doing the one way for garage here, just holding the push or just getting map control on that side of the map. And I want to come over here and help my team with mollies. You can stand on top of the, the wheelbarrow here. And then on this opening on the building here, you just aim in the middle like so. That'll land on default. And then for the mollies, you can stand on top of the sandbag. Aim at the first square like this. And that'll be a molly for default like so. And I'll pistol round on defense. I love to just lob my smoke orb in the C long choke point like so. And anyone pushing through this is going to get decayed so much. And especially since they don't have any shield, they're going to be so low. And if you want a molly... They're just going to be instantly one shot at the classic if they like even if they just full run through this so pretty much no matter what site i play on defense i do this wall that goes from b a like so and it gets a short a long and b site and it just makes retake and just holding the site a lot easier for your team so normally when i'm playing c i do the one way that's the right of the box here and you aim right on this l like so and you can stand from logs, you can stand from here, you can stand from close by default. And this is their vision pushing through. So they can see a little bit if they go all the way to the far left here. But it's still really good because they have to get really far to see you. And this is my favorite one way for C because you don't have to swing out long to grab it. You can just go right here where it's safe, grab it, and you're good. So I generally play C on this map, but I like to play Garage a lot too. And then for the garage, you can stand in front of the sandbags here. And then this gray square, you just put your cross there so it's covering it like so. And then my favorite spot to stand in this for this one way is right here. But you can also do it from window. But this is the best one way because you don't have to swing out of garage to grab it. You can just go right here where it's safe, grab it, and you're good to go. So it's very rare that I'm playing A. But if I do, I like to go down in A short here and in front of this wood. This one's a bit pixel perfect, but once you do it enough times, you'll get comfortable doing it. But you aim right on this corner, on the darker part of the wood, like so. That's a really good one way that just makes it incredibly hard for them to push a short. And this is their view pushing through. Also, if I have my ult, I sometimes play A, but I only do this if one, we have a cypher to put a trip in short like this for me or I have someone to watch short from this side so I don't have to worry about it and then I go up on heaven drop down onto the default box here and just ult on the site like so the only problem though is that people that come from short can kind of just lurk around like this and that's why I only do it if I have a cypher to put the trip there or someone to watch short from this corner. But this ult is really good because people pushing through this are going to get thrown off by the height advantage you have standing all the way up here. And also, if I have my ult, ulting C is a really good option because you can swing out long here and ult through long and it goes all the way through long. So anyone that wants to push this has to go all the way up long, get all that decay, and you'll just be sitting here waiting for them and they're going to be one shot. All right, so while editing this video, I realized that I forgot to say the smokes that I do on C if I'm the only smoker. So I just smoke closer up to garage and CT so that it's easier to hold post plant. And that way it just covers CT and garage and doesn't let people lurk behind here and in logs. So there's a lot of retake mollies that you can do on this map, but the only one that I use is for this spot on a retake called graffiti. So you stand right next to this box and aim on the top right of this wooden part, like so. 
and that'll bounce off and hit graffiti here forcing anyone playing in this corner to peek out a bit wider 